Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. First of all, today September 5th. September 5th is the Teacher's Day. That Teacher's Day can be celebrated on the occasion of Dr. Sarvepalli Radha Krishna's birthday. Now we can go for today's C program to find some of the following series 1 plus, 1 by 2 plus, 1 by 3 plus, 1 by 4 plus, up to 1 by n. Hash include stdivo.h hash include cvonivo.h these two are called as header files first one is standard input output header file it contains the printf and scanf statements second one is the console input output header file it contains the clr scr function and get ch function next one void main void is an empty data type every c program execution starts with the main function main function does not return anything so that we have to write void before the main function void is an empty data type int n comma i comma next float sum is equal to 0 so n and i can be declared as integer variables and uh, some variable can be declared as floating point data type that can be initialized with zero next one clr scr function this is a clear screen function it clears the output screen it is available in the header file called hash include pvonivo.h next printf enter the n value that n value can be read from the keyboard by using scanf function next one for i is equal to 1 i less than r equal to n i plus plus next sum is equal to sum plus float 1 divided by float i so for loop close next one printf sum of the given series is percentage d double quotes n comma sum here we have to write percentage f because sum variable can be declared as floating point variable so that we have to use percentage f instead of percentage d next one get ch close now we have to save this program 
after saving this program now we have to compile this program by using a command called alt plus f9 so we are getting zero errors and zero warnings press enter next we have to run the program by using a command called control f9 control plus f9 now the control goes to the output screen enter the n value i am giving the n value is 2 so that is calculated 1 plus 1 by 2 that is equal to 3 by 2 3 by 2 is nothing but 1.5 so see this one sum of the given series is 1.5 after 5 so 5 zeros are there because some variable can be declared as a floating point variable in the floating point variable the precision is uh, 6 digits after the decimal point so already after the decimal point 5 is there the remaining are filled with the zeros okay next again we have to run this program enter n value i am giving n value is a 3 so that means 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 that will be calculated so sum of the given series is 1.83333 next again we have to run this program enter n value i am giving n value is 100 that means 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 plus up to plus 1 by 100 that can be calculated so sum of the given series is 5.187378 so this is the output of the given program now Once we are reading the n value from the keyboard, now we have to execute the for loop. Here, the first two lines are called as the header files. After that, void main. Here, void is an empty data type. Main fun every C program execution starts with the main function. So, main function does not return anything so that we have to write void before the main function. Void is an empty data type. Next, in the main program, we have to declare n and i variables as integer variables. Next one, the variable sum can be declared as floating point data type and it also can be initialized with a 0. Next one, CLR SCR function, it clears the output screen. This function is available in hash include coniv.h header file so that we have to include that header file to our program. Next one, printf, enter the n value n value can be read from the keyboard by using scanf function both printf and scanf functions are available in hash include stdio.h header file so that we have to include that two header files to our program next one that n value can be read from the keyboard as 2 therefore n value is 2 next one for loop for i equal to 1, i less than or equal to n, i value 1, n value 2, 1 less than or equal to 2. That is condition is true. If this condition is true, then the control goes to the body of the for loop and execute the statement within the body of the for loop. So, that is sum is equal to initially sum value is a 0 plus float of 1. So, 1 can be converted into floating point data type 
because this is explicit type conversion so integer 1 can be converted into floating point data type in the floating point data type after the decimal point so six digits are there so therefore six digits can be filled with zeros therefore one can be converted into 1.60 divided by float of i so here i value can be converted into floating point data type so i value now 1 so 1 can be converted into floating point that is 1.60 so 0 plus 1.60 divided by 1.60 that means 1 by 1 so that is equal to 0 plus 1.60 we are getting 1.60 after completing the first iteration what is the sum value sum value is equal to 1.60 next one after executing the statement within the body of the for loop then the control goes to the second iteration in the second iteration i value is incremented previously it is 1 now it is incremented by 1 that is 2 i less than or equal to n that is 2 less than or equal to 2 that is condition true if this condition is true then the control goes to the body of the for loop and execute the statement sum is equal to sum plus 1 by i so previous in the previous iteration what is the sum value sum value is 1 now 1 plus 1 by i so 1 can be converted into floating point it becomes 1.60 divided by float i so i value now 2 2 can be converted into float it becomes 2.60 so 1 plus 1 by 2 so 1 plus 1 by 2 first we have to calculate the 1 by 2 1 by 2 is nothing but 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 five zeros plus 1 so then we get 1.5 five zeros okay so after executing the statement within the body of the for loop again i value can be incremented so now i value becomes 3 previously it is 2 now it is 3 3 less than or equal to n that is a 3 less than or equal to 2 condition false if this condition is false then the control goes to the next statement after the uh, for loop after the for loop the statement is printf sum of the given series is percentage f double quotes and sum sum value is 1.5 five zeros is printed okay after that the program is uh, terminated so this is the simple program to find out the sum of the following series thank you thank you for watching this video if you like this video please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates and told them please subscribe my youtube channel the bella srinivas rao Thank you, thank you one and all for watching this video.